Donald Fraser is here. He insisted on waiting to see you. I still think it's interesting how um, I gathered up all of the... What? Hungarian... I keep getting these mustache achievements. I have no idea why. Uh, I gathered up all of the suspects, if you will, I guess. And I, that always comes at like the end of a mystery show. When it's like, gather everyone here. Here is the murderer. So I kind of... That was kind of anticlimactic to gather everyone. And then nothing happened. This bottle is for our visitors. Personally, I prefer the sherry. You know what? This man is tired. Always his eyes. Dark circles. Unshaven. Donald is short of sleep. Crumpled clothes. And it looks as if he didn't even bother to undress before going to bed. Whatever happened to Franz, you guys? Remember Franz? Mr. Pado, I don't know why I'm here. You wanted to talk, and you came to find the only man capable of hearing you. Mr. Pado, since Betty's death, I've doubts about myself. I don't know what to do. And I keep having a horrible dream three nights in a row. Hmm. Continue. And tell me about this dream. It's always the same. I'm on the beach with Betty. I grab her round the throat and I squeeze and squeeze until she's dead. Her head falls back and I see that it's no longer Betty. It's Megan's face. Who's Megan, her sister? Have you seen Megan Barnard recently? Yes, our grief has brought us together. I never really knew her before. She's really quite a remarkable girl. But I would never tell her about my dream. Why not? Is it her you are attacking in your dream? No, it's Betty. And once Betty is dead, it's Megan's face that appears in its place. Very interesting. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Oh, man. Interpret the dream. Donald does not kill Megan in his dream. Donald is tired. Donald feels guilty. Donald really likes Megan. Donald was in love with Betty. The two murders were premeditated and were carried out by the same murderer. Hmm. No idea. He doesn't kill Megan. Uh, he feels guilty about killing Betty. And he likes Megan. No. Uh, he was in love with Betty. No. Uh, <laughs> Donald's tired. Nah. All right, which one of these is wrong? He doesn't kill Megan in his dream. I feel that's important. He feels guilty about killing Betty? Maybe not. Uh, he was in love with Betty. No. Uh, he likes Megan. Oh, so close, I feel. Donald's tired. What, Ed? No, that's not one. Come on. He was in love with Betty. There we go. Starting to have feelings for Megan and feels guilty about abandoning Fraser, Betty. Boy, I they don't give you time to read that at all. dream is that you are in love with Megan Barnard. Please go on. Do. This dream betrays your guilt. Oh. But what do you feel guilty about? Having killed your fiancé? Possible. Or forgetting her very quickly for her sister? Certainly. And this forgetting is perceived as a second death. So you don't really think I was the one who killed Betty? I do not exclude this theory. I am simply saying that I do not need to know that fact to explain your dream and your guilt. Thank you for being frank, Mr. Poirot. You've helped me a great deal. I'm going back to Bexhill. I'll not take any more of your time up. It is late, Mr. Fraser, and you are tired. I'll sleep on the train. 
I like trains. It's easy to sleep rocked by the sound of the wheels. Poor boy, he seems completely lost. Well, women seem to like him. I think Megan will take care of him. Oh, I remember. Did you order the product I needed? Yes, we'll be yeah, receiving it Yeah, let's do a puzzle. Bien. Oh, never mind. late. And ask Miss Gray to come tomorrow morning. I have a few questions I wish to ask her. Mademoiselle, I asked you here in order to answer a very important question. Okay, let's grill this woman. Uh... Reminder, she did not see anybody on the... Accuser of having lied. Lies! Lied to us, and I demand to know why. But what are you talking about? Yet, Lady Clark maintained that she saw you talking to a stranger on the front doorstep. Really? She must have been mistaken. Oh, I remember now. I'd forgotten all about it, but it wasn't important. It was just a salesman. One of those traders who sell stockings from door to door. Can you describe him to me? Medium size. Mm, glasses. Dark suit and a felt hat. Not the sort of man you notice. Completely harmless. That's why I forgot all about him. Nothing else? He was very hesitant and shy. Usually door-to-door -door salesmen are very confident. But he wasn't. Can we not forget the fact that in the very first, in the very beginning of the first murder, when the drunken Franz husband came in, he stumbled and dropped a package of stockings, and no one's mentioned that since. But they've, we've mentioned stockings a lot in this game. Weird. Okay, she lied about leaving Churston. Her departure suspicious. Um, did she lie about leaving Churston? I don't know. Let's do that and find out. I feel like I get the most ego points when he's just mean you to people. You also forgot to tell me that you had been fired. You never asked me. It was Franklin who led you to believe that I left voluntarily. He's more chivalrous than you. I don't wish to lie. Lady Clark did not appreciate my presence. And Franklin cannot go against the wishes of a sick lady. He is a good man. And he worries a great deal about his sister-in-law. I noticed that you left some personal belongings behind at Churston. It was too risky for you to keep these objects, am I correct? Risky? What was the risk? The murder weapon? Is that what that one knife was? It would have been really risky keeping the murder weapon on you. Hmm. The Chinese dagger. It would have broken with the first blow. I used it as a letter opener. Bien. I must ask you one last question. Please reply frankly with either yes or no. If Lady Clark had died, would you have agreed to marry Sir Carmichael if he'd ask you? How dare you ask such a question? Sir Carmichael treated me just like his daughter. And all that I ever felt him was affection and gratitude, nothing else. Thank you, mademoiselle. I will not keep you any longer. I met Thora right. Gray on the stairs. Her cheeks were ablaze and she appeared to be deeply hurt. Poirot, have you offended the poor girl again? Do you have good reasons for accusing her? I accused her of nothing, Hastings. I simply asked her an important question she did not answer. Let us see if we can answer it for her. Puzzles! Puzzles! Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. I want to put together that torn up letter. Would Thor have married Sir Carmichael if he had lived? Let's see. What? She wanted to be married. I don't know how you those go know together. To Again, just guessing here. When Sir Carmichael refers to paternal affection, he's lying to himself. Read this engraving on the brooch. A dark dragon for an angel with glossy hair. These are the words of a lover, not a father. Lady Clark was not wrong. 
What if Sir Carmichael had fallen in love with his secretary? That doesn't mean that she forced him to do so. True, there are extenuating circumstances. She is a penniless orphan. But she is calculating. Just look how she avoided it when asked if she would have married Clark. I see. You think she seduced Sir Carmichael for her own gain, and that now she is doing the same with his brother. Praro, your world is a very dark place. Do not get carried away, mon ami. We have another more important matter to settle. Really? Yes. Would you believe that Miss Grey taught me something new? Let us now try she did? and get our brain cells to work. Oh man. More guessing. I don't feel like I, I feel like he's making some wild assumptions here. Is there another common point between the murders? Yes, pantyhose. A box of stockings. Um a stocking box? Anytime I see the word stockings, I'm going for it. Door to door salesman. Many people in Churston. No objects of value. No, where's door to door salesman? There we go, stockings. It's perfectly clear, Hastings, perfectly clear. Indeed, a stocking seller visited Andover, Bexhill, and Churston on the day of each murder. We have our suspect. This should be of interest to Jop. I feel like that's the only time I was ahead of bleh, bleh, the whole stocking things. I think just because people don't talk about stockings much anymore, really, so they just it just kind of stood out to me. Stockings. Pantyhose, if you will. Stockings. Weird. <laughs> 